know, as we go through um, October and into fall, and then later on in the year, once we encounter spring, different times of the year, we're at the intersection of a couple different types of stressors. At this point in time, training load or athletic uh, load is, is up. We're preparing for either competition or, or the off season. Academic load is high as well. You know, there's midterms occurring. Throughout the semester, projects start to stack up. And then just environmental factors, change in weather, um, variety of seasons as it pertains to flu and, flu and cold season. So there's a lot of things that stack together. Now, when you really break down the idea of adaptation, we can always remind ourselves that stress is good. In order for me to improve, in order for me to get stronger, in order for me to even learn something, applied stress is really good. I just have to be strategic on how I apply that stress. I have to be able to apply the load, and then I have to be able to remove it so I can compensate above where I previously I previously was. Okay, so now when we think about multiple stressors that pair on top of each other, we also know that our body doesn't discriminate between different types of stressors. So it just sees a stress as a stress. So the more stressors I accumulate, physical, mental, social, environmental, some things may happen that may reduce my body's ability to respond to things that are attacking me from the outside. You can see some different papers and, and evidence on this as it pertains to sleep, training load status, and how our body responds. Okay, Stress in both academic and athletic populations and how our bodies and, and their immune system respond. And then the impact of, uh, of overall training load on our on our immune system. The neat thing too is a lot of times in some things that we're studying, uh, we're looking at different populations and applying them to our specific population. But right now what you're finding is, is evidence in our specific population, college athletics, that this is occurring. So what we wanna do, we, we understand that physical training stimulus has to happen to grow. We understand that academic training stimulus has to happen in order for me to learn so that's gonna stay consistent. So I wanna be able to manage the other stressors, my hygiene, my lifestyle, the quality of life that I'm living. If I can manage that, then I can promote and give all my other resources to my physical training and my, my preparation in the classroom. So right now, intersection of a bunch of different stressors going on in the middle of a college athletic season. Okay, let's, let's make sure we maximize our health, our lifestyle, the choices we make, so that all of our resources inside of our body can go to what we need them to go to.